Hello everyone, we are from Group 11 Groundbreakers and in this video, we are going to explain and talk about Experiment 20, which is the Cross-Flow Heat Exchanger. So basically, in this experiment, we learn about Cross-Flow Heat Exchanger. Heat Exchanger is to transfer heat between two or more fluids and between solid object and also a fluid. In a Cross-Flow Heat Exchanger, a tube bundle carries a heating and a cooling liquid which is perpendicular to the gas flow which passes over the tubes that causes a heat exchanging between the fluids. And cross-flow heat exchanger is mainly used in gas heating and cooling process. For this experiment, the cross-flow heat exchanger is studied where the hot liquid is cooled down by the airflow on the surface of the tube bundle. The experiment will further study the heat exchanger's experiment and also as well as the calculation of the fundamental quality quantities like overall heat transfer coefficients, the number of transfer units, NTU, as well as the effectiveness. So, for the objectives of this experiment, experiment 20A is to determine the heat transfer and also the temperature difference as well as the surface heat transfer coefficient for a single tube in a transverse air stream. Experiment 20B is to determine the mean surface heat transfer coefficient for tubes in the first, third, and also the sixth row in a bundle tube. And lastly, for experiment 20C, it is to determine the mean surface heat transfer coefficient for fin tubes in the first and the fourth row of the fin cross flow heat exchanger. In experiment 20A, a single tube plate is installed onto the vertical air duct, and next, the tube heater is inserted into the slot. Next, the air blower is switched on and as well as the heater is also switched on. The iris is set to 2 and then the heater power is set to 5 watt. These three variables are then recorded when steady state is achieved. And then the recording of these three variables are repeated by setting the iris to 4 and also 6. And when the experiment is completed, the heater and fans are switched off. For experiment 20B, the bundle tube plate is installed onto the vertical air duct and the tube heater is inserted into the slot in the first row. The air blower is then switched on as well as the heater. And then the iris is set to 2, the heater power is then set to 5 watt. These three variables are then recorded when the steady state is achieved. This, the recording of these three variables are repeated by setting the iris to 4 and 6. And the experiment is then repeated by varying the slot of the tube heater to the third row and also the sixth row. When the experiment is complete, the heater and fans are switched off. For experiment 20C, the fin tube plate is installed onto the vertical air duct and the tube heater is inserted into the slot in the first row. The air blower is then switched on as well as the heater. The iris is set to 2 and the heater power is set to 5 watt. Then, these three variables are recorded whenever this, a steady state is achieved. The recording of these three variables are repeated by setting the iris to 4 and 6, and the experiment is repeated by varying the slot of the tube heater to 4th row. And when the experiment is complete, the heater and the fans are switched off. Now, for the results and discussion, I'll first explain on the experiment 28. A graph of ln new salt number versus ln Reynolds number of the single tube is plotted based on the data obtained and calculated. Now, if we can see the ln of new salt number increases to the increase in ln of Reynolds number. Based on the table, we can conclude that the velocity increases as the iris setting increases. In the iris setting increases, the Reynolds number and the new salt number increases as well, and thus the surface heat transfer coefficient can be told to increase. The surface heat transfer coefficient is directly proportional to the iris setting itself. Now, moving on to experiment 20B. As we can see, a similar graph of ln Nusot number versus ln Reynolds number is plotted for the first for the first row, third row, and sixth row of the placed heated element. Based on the table, we can conclude that the bundle tube is selected and the effect of different number of rows is disinfected. Based on the observations, as the opening of iris increases, the heat transfer coefficient increases as well. This is because the bigger the opening of the iris, the larger the amount of air that is allowed to flow through, the, through it, and thus higher velocity of air. 
higher loss rate ad leads to bigger Reynolds number and thus increasing the transfer coefficient. For the different number of rows, the lower the row is located, the smaller the heat transfer coefficient. In 20C, where we use the fin tube, the results for the effect of change of the iris opening give the same conclusion as the previous experiments. As the iris opening increases, the heat transfer also increases. And as the row goes lower, the heat transfer coefficient decreases. However, when comparing the fin tube and the bundle tube, in terms of heat transfer coefficient, the change of temperature between the surface temperature and the inlet temperature for fin tube shows a positive value. However, for the bundle tube shows a negative value. The values of opening of the iris has the biggest effect on change of air velocity of the inlet air. And the increase of the iris opening also increases the Reynolds number, nozzle number, and of course the air velocity itself. Consequently, when the number of iris increases, the amount of air entering also increases. Thus, the value of the inlet air velocity increases. The increasing of the nozzle number and the Reynolds number will increase the value of heat transfer coefficient. The tube bundle geometry happens to record the highest value of heat transfer coefficient and also it did not differ much whether it is in the first row or in the sixth row while the single tube geometry has the lowest heat transfer coefficient. The main factor that might contribute to the heat transfer coefficient are the arrangement, the tube arrangement that is either single tube, bundle tube, or fin tube arrangement. That's all from us. Thank you.